to my YouTube channel. If you struggle with curling your hair and are constantly getting that clamp mark, especially on your ends, this video is for you. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you want to learn how to curl your hair with a clamp curling iron, just keep watching. My number one tip that I would give you when you're just starting out is to practice with a curling iron off. That way you aren't frying your hair or using a tiny heat. So in this tutorial, we're going to keep it very beginner friendly and we're going to curl everything away from the face. I'm going to take this section of hair and with the clamp, I'm going to have it facing forward. So it's going to be facing towards you. It's going to be in front like this. I always recommend starting the curls higher on the hair strand. If you start it down here, the curls are not going to last. They're going to fall because you're starting it right here already at the ends but the higher you start your hair you're going to give them like more time to naturally fall with the clamp facing forward you're just going to slide the hair in like this at the root i personally like to slide the hair in here at the top of the iron if you notice the the hair is going this way so that's the way that you're going to rotate the hair is by going back the t3 slides very easily you can also use your thumb just to open the clamp very slightly just to feed the hair in. And as you do, you're going to rotate the hair in slowly, 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 taking your hand, opening the clamp. That way you're feeding the hair through the iron. You can let it sit, then you'll get a really pretty curl. Obviously the iron's off right now, so we're not gonna see any curl. Honestly, you don't need to wrap anything around here. That would just make it more confusing. You start here at the top, this white empty space is where you're going to feed in the hair next. So with the hair, you see it going in this direction. Well, that right there is showing you that you need to be rotating the hair back. So if you're wondering, why am I getting that clamp mark? This is most likely why. So you're putting your hair in. So you see how the hair, like I said, it's falling this way. It's going down, which is the direction you want to go in. But if you are curling away like this, that is what's giving you that clamp mark this right here go with the direction of the hair the same thing applies to this other side you're going to take your section of hair clamp always in front especially if you want all the curls to go away from your face and honestly just for beginners in general this is the easiest slide your hair in at the top if you slide it in right here at the bottom oh it's turning on <laughs> i was like this felt kind of hot for a second let me turn this off start right here at the ends Curl your way up. This curl is not going to last long at all. It will give you some type of like loose bend for the hair, but not anything that's going to be long lasting. I'm not starting right here. I'm starting right here at the top. Clamp it down. And then you see how the hair is flowing this way. That is the direction that you're going to be curling in. Feed the hair through. You can open the clamp and feed the hair through until you have all of your ends in. Let it sit for about 10 seconds or so. Then when you release, you will have a very pretty curl. Just like we practiced when the iron was off, I'm going to take the hair here at the top of the barrel, clamp down, you see the direction of the hair. I'm going to start to feed the hair through without opening the clamp all the way because we don't want the hair to fall out. We're barely pressing it open, just enough for the hair to feed through. It feel nice and like tight on the iron. If it feels loose, you're probably opening the clamp a little too much. Then when we release, we have a perfect curl. So what I'm gonna show you next is a little bit more advanced, but I like to do it if you don't want your curls going all the same way and you wanna add some like texture back into your hair. You can also do this too. If instead of the clamp facing forward, the clamp is gonna be facing in the back. When we clamp the hair down, you see how the hair is feeding this way. It's not going back that way because that's gonna give the weird clamp. When we feed the hair in right here with the clamp in the back, if I were to clamp down right now, we see that the hair is feeding in through this way. That is gonna give you the kind of curl that is going towards your face and kind of break up the curls that way they don't all become one giant curl. The clamp is gonna be facing towards your face if you want the curls going towards your face. If you want it going away from your face, the clamp is gonna be facing away from your face. So let's do one of those curls one more time for you to see. The clamp is facing towards my face like this. I'm gonna slide the hair in here at the top and then the hair is laying this way and we're going to just feed the hair through. When we release, we're gonna have a curl that is framing our face. It's gonna take a lot of practice, but just know that you can do it. I highly recommend practicing when the iron is off. 
and before you know it, you're literally gonna be a pro. Even when you're switching from side to side, right to left, if you want all the curls to go away from your face, be sure that the clamp is facing away from your face, facing forward. So here we go, clamp right here, hair is fed through right here at the top, and I'm gently pressing this clamp open to feed the hair through the iron, holding for a couple seconds depending on your hair, releasing to a beautiful curl. Ooh, loosen up these curls a little bit. This is what my hair looks like all done and now that it's curled. And just remember, practice, practice, practice. Really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.